Very, very nice. I enjoyed the weather here. I enjoyed the forest. It's super nice. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Money Vision. There are a lot of rich people in the world today. Wouldn't you agree? But what gets lost sometimes is just how rich certain people are. Take Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, for example. You might know him as the Prince of Dubai, and he's someone who is not only very rich, but also very famous. He's worth an estimated $5.5 billion. And as the Prince of Dubai, he has a lot of power and sway for his country and its people, which means he's spent a lot of money on a lot of things. So allow us to show you how Dubai's crown prince spends his billions. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 10, travels across the world. One of the things that makes this particular crown prince so special, in terms of his spending of money, is that he does things that a typical crown prince wouldn't be able to do for safety reasons. As you would see if you go to his Instagram page, he does a lot of traveling to places all over the world, and does all sorts of activities while moseying around. For example, he's gone skydiving, done special things in Africa, done all kinds of water sports and activities, and so on. On some level, this might seem low-key, but think about it like this. Instead of having to be ready to go run a country, he's taking his family's money and going to go see the world. And he does this on a fairly regular basis. This isn't just a one time a year thing. He travels all the time to see all sorts of great places. If you had the money to go and do that, wouldn't you? Exactly, and that's why the Crown Prince has such a following on Instagram, because they want to see more of his adventures. Number nine, horseback riding. Aside from traveling the world, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum has some hobbies that are also something to discuss. One of them is poetry, and his works have been used in various songs in Dubai, but one of his true loves is that of horseback riding. He's apparently very skilled in this field, and has even won a bunch of international competitions that prove just how good he is. Given the region he's in, he no doubt spent his money hiring the best teachers to help him hone his skills as well as paying good money to get the best horses. That may not seem like an odd thing, but trust us, getting the best purebred or thoroughbred horses can be a very expensive endeavor, and sometimes they're bought young to be raised to be stud horses. But even if it costs millions, that would just be a drop in the bucket for the prince. Number 8. Yacht Admit it, you'd be shocked if the crown prince didn't have a yacht, right? Well, he does. He has a 252-foot yacht known as the Esmeralda to take him around when he decides to go and venture on the water. The yacht is everything you would expect from a luxury boat, including having nine different cabins for you to sleep in and being able to host about 24 people without much issue. It's a nice ship. And you can bet that there are subtle other features that would make it very valuable to anyone who stepped aboard. Oh, and speaking of value, apparently the yacht is worth about $70 million, which says to us that it's not just a large boat, but one that was decked out personally for the prince. And you are now hoping to get invited onto the boat yourself, right? But why ride a ship when you could have a personal plane ride? Number 7. Boeing 747 When you need to travel the world, you need to do it fast, and you need to do it in style. And to that end, the Crown Prince's father is a man who has a personal Boeing 747 that he can use to get anywhere he wants without much issue. Just on a base level, these planes cost hundreds of millions of dollars. And that doesn't even touch on costs such as going and getting fuel for the plane, housing it, and various maintenance issues. Plus, being that this plane is for a royal family, you can bet the plane was customized to suit their needs. Granted, unlike certain other royal family members, we doubt that the plane was lined with gold or things like that. But more than likely, it was custom built to go and be luxurious on the inside so the royal family could be comfortable no matter how long they're flying or where they're going to. Number six, hospital bill. Don't get the wrong idea. This isn't about the crown prince having an illness or an injury. Rather, it's about how he saw a video of someone from the UAE, United Arab Emirates, who made a post on social media lamenting the fact that their very expensive procedure they were going to have would be too hard to pay off. When Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum heard this, he decided he himself would front the bill. That bill was $800,000. Yes, for a person he didn't know, he paid basically $1 million to help them through an ordeal. 
That should say a lot about the crown prince and how he views his money and his people. If more rulers were like that, well, maybe the world would be an even better place. Number 5. Dubai Autism Center If you're looking for even more proof that Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum is a very charitable man, then you need only ask the Dubai Autism Center about how nice he is to them. You see, as mentioned before, the Crown Prince is an acclaimed horseback rider, and after winning the Dubai World Cup, he got a prize of $6 million, which is obviously paltry compared to the billions he and his family are worth. So instead of keeping it and not doing anything overall for them, he decided to go and donate it to the Dubai Autism Center, a nonprofit of which he's also the chairman of. The group is dedicated to not just helping kids with autism find ways to truly integrate with society, but also to raise awareness of the mental affliction and thus let people know how better to handle people with it. So again, he didn't have to do that, but he wanted to. And this again shows the character of the Crown Prince of Dubai. Number 4. Camel No, we're not joking with you here. During a special Dubai festival, the Crown Prince went and spent $2.7 million on a camel. Yes, you heard that right, nearly $3 million on a single camel. What a world. Oh, but that's not all. That number was just for one camel. He then went and bought about a dozen more and brought the totality of his purchase to about $4.5 million. Apparently, this was because of camel significance in the region, and that he is a camel racer as well as a horse racer. But spending $4.5 million on a set of camels? Yeah, that's a bit excessive. Number 3. Car Collection As you might guess, there are various things that rich people are known to get in order to showcase their wealth, and for Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, he really loves his cars. He's got luxury cars that are so beautiful and rare that they would make even the best car collectors weep, mainly because he has the money to buy them all on a whim and without much effort. He even has a car that is golden, as in literally. Yeah, it's nice to be rich, right? Though he does still show his heart even with his purchases. Because one time, he noticed that one of his many cars had a bird's nest on it. And instead of getting rid of the bird, he filmed the bird with its eggs over time to show the beauty of life. Number 2. House Sticking with things that are somewhat obvious, it's just as obvious that, when it comes to things like rich princes, they need a nice house to live in, and the crown prince certainly has a massive mansion to call home. Not to mention, he'll have outfitted it to fit his every need and make sure that he's not wanting for anything. You almost have to wonder what all is inside his luxury home that's valuable, but considering that it is Dubai, we're betting a lot. Number 1. Future Purchases So, as you can see, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum is a man with many tastes from the simple to the luxurious and onward. The only really big question left is, what is he going to buy next? Will he do more charity work? Will he endeavor to go and get various other things to showcase his wealth? Will he get more camels? Only time will tell. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the various things the Crown Prince of Dubai spends his money on? Do you think that he has a lot of cool things? Which of these items are you the most jealous of? Were you surprised that he didn't have certain other things? Do you know something he owns that isn't on the list? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to Money Vision, and we'll see you next time on the channel.